Welcome back folks, Casey here with Two Tankards and today the final video in our Queen Bee Pro build series. We've got everything installed, everything is hooked up and what we're going to do is now connect the system to our computer and we're going to test our directions of all three axis X, Y and Z and we're going to do our first auto home on it to ensure our limit switches are working. So stay tuned. Once the unit is fully connected via USB, we connect the black box to the OpenBuilds control software by clicking on the port drop down menu, choose FTDI USB, then click connect. The system will connect and the current GRBL settings will pop up in the control window. Next, we click on the GRBL settings button at the top to set up our new machine. First, locate the limit switch installed on off button and turn it on. This will enable the limit switches for automatic homing later. Next, we'll define our generic system settings. Click on the custom machine button and scroll down to the Open Builds lead machine. Choose a system that is comparable for your assembly. Here I chose the lead 1515 as I have the Queen Bee Pro 1500 by 1500. Check the rest of your settings. Now click save to save the new machine parameters and click yes to confirm so the new software can reset the GRBL to match your new layout. Next, we will test the movement and direction of the axis. When you click on the plus for the X, Y, or Z axis, the gantry should move towards the motor for that axis. Test each axis to see if it moves in the correct direction. Take note of any axis that moves in the wrong direction. If one or more of the axis is moving in the wrong direction, we can adjust this in the GRBL settings tab. Click the GRBL settings tab and scroll down to the step direction invert line. Click the toggle switch for each axis that was moving in the wrong direction from the earlier step. Click save and then confirm so the software can reset the GRBL settings. Next, click the control tab and retest each axis to ensure you have the proper movement and direction. The proper direction of the motor is a key element in being able to auto home your unit, which we will do in an upcoming step. Next, click the troubleshooting tab at the top. Note the section that shows the status of each of our limit switches. When the limit switch is not pressed, it is in the off position and is green in color. If you press the X limit switch and activate it, an alarm is triggered and the indicator turns red. When release the limit switch, the indicator will go back to green. Follow this same procedure for each limit switch on your system. This is a very critical step before we proceed to auto homing our system. If the limit switches do not work correctly, check your wiring and ensure they are plugged into the correct port on the black box. And finally, the last step is to auto home your system using your limit switches you just installed. Click the auto home button and your Z axis will move up and down and find its limit switch. Once the Z axis is complete, the X and Y gantry will move simultaneously to find their limits and complete the cycle. Once the cycle is completed, check the position of the gantry on the Z axis and the X axis and make sure everything is where it should be. Adjust your limit switch positions as needed. All right, folks, that's it. You've auto homed the system. You've ran it for the first time. We are finally done with our video series on the Queen Bee Pro build. In some future videos, I plan on looking at and showing you how to install the auto zeroing plate from Open Builds, as well as how to install a spoil board deck on your CNC with T tracks so it's easier to tie things down. As always, if you like my content, please click like and subscribe, and we'll see you on some future videos.